What is up, my Galaxian? Sorry, it has been some time. I would say this is a Wookiee weekly wrap-up, but it's more like a monthly wrap-up. So let's go ahead and jump right in. First off, going to just mention some Gala price, because everybody loves to talk about some price talk. Uh, the reason I'm showing this is because I really do think the things we're going to be sharing today is extremely bullish. And uh, by the end of uh, 2023, I think we're going to be seeing a uptrend in Gala. Now, I think this chart somewhat looks like the ethereum chart i know crazy ridiculous why would you ex you know uh compare it to something like this well let me explain we see this like spike here ethereum kind of came down before having a big boom the reason i'm showing this is because benefactor did mention that gala will be the gas for everything on gala chain everything all the projects that build on it gala will be the gas so that means rep which is being built right now. If you haven't heard, link right up there or a video. Go ahead and click that. You can watch the summary. But Rep is going to be the crypto uh, blockchain new, basically, Twitter, Instagram, Threads, um, Pokemon Go with that AR uh, augmented reality kind of stuff going on. Um, absolutely bullish on Rep. The uh, nodes are going to be dropping uh, the price at least tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that because first 48 hours, you are going to be getting a discount on that. Uh, if you are a Founders Node owner or a Gala, Gala Gold. If you're not Gala Gold, it's 50 bucks lifetime. Definitely worth it. Link down below. And being a part of Gala Gold is extremely important. Not only do you get free things on occasion, such as like in Dragon Strike, uh, you can claim this legendary hero and a scroll of minting for free by just being a member of Gala Gold. But there's some gold sneaky peeks. You get to watch, you know, footage from like uh, Neil Haran with Rep and some of the things he's doing behind the scenes. Extremely fun to see kind of some of that uh, sneaky behind the scenes stuff instead of just the standard kind of global announcements. So I highly encourage you to pick up Gala Gold. Now, some news. Gala Games, they're dropping these things called mystery boxes. Essentially, they're going to have three random NFTs inside the mystery box. Okay, that means from across different games, different rarities, we don't know the price yet. They are coming soon. The only downside to this for me is uh, I don't play like Townstar, right? There's like a, maybe a couple of games that I, I don't play, don't want to play. And so if I get those NFTs, I'm going to have to look to either trade or something like that. I wish there was a Gala chain marketplace already up uh, where it would be simple to do that. However, it uh, sounds like the value of this is going to be excellent. Benefactor basically wants to burn everything in the store uh, that's left in the store right now and put them into these boxes for sale. Uh, big, big update. So from Benefactor, Gala chain is live, being used by our ecosystem. Gala Music has been onboarding artists, is using Gala Chain. Gala Film got several films approaching, which we're going to talk about. Theatrical release for Witchboard, which uh, they're looking at like 2024 for that. Uh, Gala Games releasing more and more games onto the Gala Chain. In the month of August, we're going to see Champions Arena, Poker Go, and Get Plucked. All three of these are going to be fun. Uh, they're going to be enjoyable. They're going to be on iOS and Android and PC. So, so much coming down the pipe right now, especially for August. Now, let's take a quick just look at this intro from Champions Arena because it is absolutely spicy and fire. Crazy stoked for this game. So polished, so smooth, so beautiful. If you didn't get to play this playtest in August, I am sorry. Or not August, whatever the playtest was. Extremely fun, extremely addicting. This game is going to be the first Gala game that has millions of users. Champions Arena. I'm talking millions of users for this game. If you want to be on my estate, my guild, I think it starts off with like 30 folks. 
link down below is for my discord go ahead and jump in that jump into champions arena let me know that you want to uh you know try to like rent out some of the champions uh i'll have uh i only have a handful so it's gonna have to be kind of choosy but would love to get folks in there the estate uh definitely going to give as much benefits as i can back to my members that are in there with me so feel free to jump in so within the AMA, they did go over that August 23rd, it will be launching. It'll be launching on Apple, iOS, and Android. It's a traditional polished mobile game with earnings in the form of revenue sharing. That means 15% of the revenue spent in game and the microtransactions is going to be given back to the players in gala tokens uh, via like a victory point kind of system uh, for winning games with NFT champions. In addition to playing the normal game rewards, you can only rent one champion through the Nexus, the other three must be grinded on your own. Now, if you own the Nexus and you upgrade it, you can rent out more than one champion, but you as a player can only rent one NFT champion at a time. Uh, there will be no more Nexus or estates being sold until the game needs it. That really boosts the value of those right now. You've seen on OpenSea, they've become expensive already. And the champions, you can, uh, like after you've summoned them in game, you've upgraded them, you can't actually pay like a scroll of minting to mint them into an NFT. So that's gonna be the best of, uh, or you know focus for a lot of folks initially and it's going to be a lot different than the spider tanks model this is going to be a purely sharing uh revenue with the nft owners in this game and like i said the game looks super clean once this launches definitely be uh jumping in to either you know my estate uh another another member's estate just you got to jump in try to get locked in with somebody a guild it's going to be so fun it's going to be really fast paced so excited for Champions Arena. Uh, be, be on the lookout in the future here. I'll be dropping a, a more de detailed video on how to kind of build and do everything in, in Champions Arena. If you enjoy the content, please use those gala links down below. That supports me the best. We will I'll always announce if I'm being paid at the beginning of a video to make the video. The way I uh, make any kind of money is just the small commissions on any sales that occur in the store. Uh, so if you are going to purchase something, you might as well be giving a portion of that to your favorite content creator. So not only me, but you know, folks like uh, Classy Crypto. Uh, you know, whoever's your favorite, honestly, right? Whoever you really enjoy, really like watching, I really advise you go ahead and like you know, give us the love give us the click uh, whether that's um 8 bit tendy smiling monster brand flood um there's so many people and i'm sorry i'm missing you stash uh but i really want to just encourage you whoever your favorite is go ahead and uh, click those links so you're telling gala hey i really love this content creator please uh you know support them and what they're doing so really love everything you guys do really appreciate it <laughs> Box have been hard at work. They've been uh, giving, doing some of these giveaways. We've just been retweeting stuff or uh, doing some stuff in the Discord for the chickens for the Get Plucked game, which is a Frogger-like game. Looks super fun. And people always say, hey, Box, are supposed to be avatars that DeFi. What kind of news has been going on with that? Well, uh, Irrelevant in the Discord somewhere, he did say that they are still working behind the scenes on the whole DeFi aspect with Box. They can't say anything about it right now. Just know it is still coming. He also still said that they've been personally working on everything behind the scenes. Can't believe it's been two years. They said the land sale will start when the uh, game starts. Okay. So we're not going to be seeing like an early kind of uh, sale with the land and that the mobile game is going to be out really soon. So tons going on with Vox right now. Uh, always, always excited about what they got going on. Gala Games released this little calendar so you can see the live stream schedule because there's so much going on. Uh, Miranda's had on a pretty a, cool AMA. A typically, but you can do it as a hemisphere or so just, much. I'm just using a sphere now to tag the pixels. Went over right, so, so much. The, then, so this is kind of interesting. Um, the most exciting thing with the Miranda stuff that I saw or heard was they're going to be doing shipwrecked boxes so kind of like those nft boxes i just showed you uh that gala game is going to be dropping mirandus is going to have a specific one called a shipwreck box that is going to have some gigantic prizes in there uh that you could get super 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 lucky uh to get and that has just made me stoked that's definitely the box that i'm going to want the most of these uh kind of gotcha boxes that they got going on a certic audit completed with gala games placing them at number three that's right number three uh behind bitcoin and ethereum for security and safety with the contract and everything else inside of it so i know that doesn't seem like super exciting news to people but it is extremely important to hear that and know that that is happening Right now with Gala Films, they got three movies right now. One of them being Witchboard. And unplug any televisions or radios. 
I hate horror movies. And focus on the pendulum. There are powerful forces at play. We must journey back. Back to she who carved this board, who spilt blood to stir its dark magic. It just feels like bad juju to me. You know so little, yet here you are. And I know so much. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, that's enough of that. I don't need to see the rest of it. Witchboard, scary. Uh, Benefactor did say that they are going to be trying to do a theatrical release with this, which of course is extremely exciting. Uh, the theatrical release is going to be shooting for like 2024 i believe is what they said so it's a little bit out there but i don't know if that's just because of the editing time you know uh putting together trailers is a lot faster i know razor is supposed to be coming out a lot lot you want sooner. 432 time oh, 625 been up all night reworking the comms to sustain neural connectivity i can't afford another failed craniotomy my migraines are getting worse. If I fail again, the results could be dire. This reminds me of Altered Carbon, if you've ever seen that. For what I've created. Machete. The next evolution of mankind. A colossal leap in brain-computer interfacing. It will reshape humanity. It will change. Everything. And if it kills me, maybe it was worth it. All right, who's who's sleeping on Gal Gala film? People are sleeping on Gala film. I am telling you, Gala film has some <laughs> just superb, superb things coming out. Ghost of Rune is the third final thing at the moment that we know that's all squared away. Kind of like an anime style show. For anybody who was in early, purchased the bigger NFTs. They have gotten their faces put into this show in a death scene. So how cool is that, getting to get killed in an anime show? again everything is coming together everything is coming together everything's coming together my excitement is just i can't even i can't even hold it so much is coming together right now i i i am i mean with gala music gala film a uh, gala music they're doing like the catbird festival they got people you know singing there um they said they've been working super hard getting that uh, token ready because i know every, that's what everybody cares about is seeing that token launch well that was a short overview of uh some of the things that went on this month definitely missed talking about a lot of things such as the uh B8 uh, esports team has playing Last Expedition. They loved it. Uh, the The Walking Dead uh, Empires update and overview. Uh, Townstar overview. So some different things I missed. As always, stay warm, Wookies. Mm -hmm.